Can you blink if you are an evil spirit? <gasps> are you kidding me? Why would you ask Dude, that? Dude, I don't know. Holy shit. Are you, what the? my channel. Today we are at the infamous Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada. This place is insane and it's filled with clowns, which clowns kind of creep me out, but we're gonna be okay together. So I'm here with Miss Chris Starr. Ignore our messy room. Oh, it's so messy. Sorry. It's all our equipment pretty much. We are actually staying in one of the most haunted rooms in the entire motel Room 108. This room is extremely interesting. We've already been hearing things so before somebody knocked on our door Nobody's there. Yeah, no one was Kelsey there look, so I Because you were right there by the door. There was legit someone knocking at our door like a bunch of and times it was like a big knock. Yeah, it was like one two three and then it, we, we like looked at each other like who would that be, you know? And then it was like another one, two, three knocks. It was like at seven at night, so it's not like housekeeping or something. And we both look at each other, Chris goes, opens the door, and no one's there. So that was really strange. We've heard some things move in our room, which it's actually known for. There's a very playful ghost in this room that likes to mess with people and move things around. Without further ado, let's go explore the clown motel. So the owner told us to knock on his door like when we wanted to film in the lobby even if he was asleep and we're literally the room next to him we hear him snoring. I feel so bad when he told us to knock on his door. I don't know what- It's like not him. Yeah, Chris, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you. Guys, if you haven't watched Omar's video here, you definitely should because he literally caught this clown's hand moving on video. Imagine waking up to that face. Oh my god, the foot! Are you kidding? The foot is moving? <gasps> Are you kidding? Guys, the foot's moving. You didn't touch the clown. I didn't touch the freaking clown. That foot. <laughs> The foot it was just moving. Yeah, it's moving. No. It was like swinging. <laughs> I didn't touch the clown. Did you get that on your video? Yeah. Oh, I have a bunny that literally has like this. Oh, the polka dots? Yeah. Because I was about to talk. Because and... I was about to talk and then I didn't get to you. The foot moved. A lot of these like little clown figurines have been sent in by people. Some of them are actually haunted or cursed. This guy did something to one of one time. Which? One time, it was in night. He did something. I don't know. He threw something. What did he do? He did, he did something. Either he threw something or something. Oh, that like yeah. moves by itself, right? Yeah. The caged one? Yeah. Or the caged one. Oh, what the so heck? this cage yeah. doll is really haunted, apparently, and some of the employees have seen it in action. Oh, it's, it looks haunted too. Oh, it's yeah. so creepy. Yeah. The cemetery is literally like right outside the wall right here, so this area is extremely active with spirits who just wander from the cemetery to here because it is the closest building. Oh, it's cold in here. I have like a headache in here. If you guys hear or see anything, please let me know. Um, definitely could catch some things here. What? What? Were you just outside the door? No, I was over there. Oh, I think I just caught this door moving. It is shut. I heard like a bang and it just shut. I heard the bang. I didn't know that it was... Wait, what? 
I'm pretty sure I caught that on video, so I came in here. No, I heard the bang. I thought it was, I was you. I talking about this, because right outside here is the cemetery, and then I turn around, the door is shut. I heard bang, the door was shut. I thought you closed it. You didn't? No. That's why I thought you were here. No, I was over there. What the hell? I thought you were right there. <laughs> That's weird, the door just freaking shut on her. Did you get out on video? I think I did. This what the hell? Really shut on me, so I heard a bang. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I thought you shut the door, I so. I thought Kelsey was outside of the door shutting it. No, I have it on video, I was over there. I was like explaining that there was paranormal wow. activity and then that happened. <laughs> like what? Yeah, so she was talking about paranormal activity and then the door shut, so that's pretty cool. This place is so crazy. Aww. I like the happy clowns. Actually, like yeah. Happy clown? You want him? <laughs> Not really. What is that? The bell. Why? Yeah, there's a sensor bell. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, did you trigger it? I guess so. Oh. What is this? Ronald, like McDonald's? Yeah, I think so. Hey, Ronald. Oh, it is. Yeah. I bet you so much. Have you? Have I got you food poisoning from McDonald's, so I haven't eaten there no. since. Was this cabinet open? Oh, that was me. <laughs> you just that hit the door? Me. Yeah, no, that was me. Was this open before? I don't uh, remember. The cabinet. The cabinet. The one in front of oh, your face. Shit. I don't know. We'll have to look back in our footage. Did you open it? No. I. You definitely did because there's Nutella. <laughs> I don't even like Nutella. I, know. I don't know. I don't remember it being open. Cause I feel like I would have noticed. That's really strange. I'm gonna close wow, it. I said this area is really haunted. Really? Here, so. I guess if it opens up again. Like, okay, all the cabinets are closed. Ooh, it's cold in here. I got the creeps hardcore, man. Oh, Back here. I know, I have like weird vibes back here. Those cemeteries legit outside the door, you can see it. See the entrance right there? It's literally right there. So there's so many spirits that could come over here. It's it's crazy. All right guys, what Chris and I are gonna do is we're literally gonna grab one of the clowns from the big, huge clown, the one that moves, and we're gonna sleep with it tonight and see if it moves in our room. Like, that'll be freaking crazy. Which clown am I feeling? Oh no. All right, I've been trying to take some pictures, like trying to get orbs or any, why is my camera blurry? What the hell, it's focusing on something over there. That's really weird. It's like putting a square on something in the corner. So I was trying to take pictures of, oh my God, I just heard a whisper. I hope I, oh my God. Hello? I just, it was like, psst or something. I don't know. I was like trying to get my freaking attention. <gasps> oh my God, that was crazy. Holy crap. That was freaking freaky, dude. And the freaking cabinet's open. Chris, did you open this cabinet? Dude. Are you kidding me? Like, what the hell? I literally heard a whisper and then this was open. Like it was trying to get my attention or something. What the f Kelsey's all excited. I heard she a whisper and there was like pssst. And then I come over here. and that's open. And like the what? Was open. Well, it's closed now, but it, how, well, how it was, was it open? It was like, is that one? I think like that. Nobody know it does this. Huh? No one's ever in here? I got the chills. Like, I literally heard someone, like, in there, in that back room. 
This whole area is just freaky, man. I'm gonna turn the light off. Guys, I found my favorite little clown right here. This is my favorite clown. He's so cute. All right, and we're taking this one, this little bear, to the room to see if it moves around. <laughs> because uh, this clown guy. Moves. Yeah, this clown guy holds this bear. He's probably gonna be so upset. Watch him end up in our freaking room. <gasps> Chris cute. stuck the bear. All right, let's. He's a little upset with me for bringing the clown back okay. here. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna put him over here. Kelsey, there. I just feel like it's gonna heighten our experience at the clown motel. Alright, we're gonna go to the cemetery now. Leave that freaking bear there. If it moves, then I'm gonna be freaked out because <laughs> we're sleeping with it. Here we are entering the first Tonopah Cemetery, 1901 to 1911. Buried here are many of Tonopah's pioneer residents, including the victims of the Tonopah Belmont mine fire on February 23rd, 1911, as well as the victims of the 1902 Tonopah plague. We did go here during the day, so if you want to see it during the day, check out my previous vlog. I will have the link below. Here we go to explore the cemetery at night. Here we go, 3 a.m. challenge. Oh, this one died of pneumonia. Wow, look at the moon, you guys. Wow, that's crazy. It's so pretty. I love the moon. These tombstones are kind of bizarre. They're like handmade. I think that because this town's kind of small, they do have a lower budget or did. Oh, look. Someone gave, oh wow, he was my age, Walter Wampler. Yeah, see, these are handmade with like, just with wood. What the hell? Uh, Did you hear that? What? It was like, what? the hell was that? Are you talking about that? I don't know. Oh, it's a kitty! There's a Nini! Oh, Nini! Oh my god, it's a Luna! Oh, he's so cute! Oh, you're so cute! Yeah, I want to see the cat. Alright guys, we're taking a detour because we found a kitty. Ooh. Me and Chris are cat lovers, so we gotta go find it and pet it. We gotta give it some love. This legit happened to us at Oak Tree Village too. <laughs> Where'd it go? Wait, I'm so upset now. <laughs> oh, there it is! <laughs> I see his side balls. Hi, baby duty. No, no. Oh, it went into the crack. Damn it. Oh, see him? Oh, it lives in there. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Chris just kissed my ass. I backed into her. Oh, it was a. Oh, there's another one. Hi, Kitty. Oh. oh, look, it's walking. Here it goes. Hi. Do you see? Hi. It's. <laughs> oh! It's a Tito. <laughs> I found a Luna. Oh, there's an. Oh, wait, those are just. Oh, never mind. The detour's over. We're back in the cemetery. <laughs> Literally, when we find a cat, it's just game over. It looks like they use like pieces of just housing to build these. Like, what is that? It looks like a rail to something. I don't know. There's like a larger tombstone up here. Let's see what this is. What was that? It sounded like a dog getting like... It sounded like a dog like attacking someone, someone screaming. That's like what I heard. Wow, 1879? So Kelsey. Yeah? These will actually say the Belmont Mine Fire that happened on February 23rd, 19th. Oh, it says who died in the Belmont Fire. This one died too, Matt. Age 25, that's so sad. Looks like a sheriff's badge or something. I wonder if he was a sheriff. Let's 
let's see. Died of pneumonia, age 60. Oh. oh yeah, if you guys didn't notice, I did get a new light and a stabilizer, so I'm super excited about that. It's way better than my flashlight that I was using. We're gonna do a spirit box session here in the cemetery because we're feeling a lot of energy here, like more than at the motel, which is crazy. Are you here with us? That was clear. So, there's no radio stations out here, guys. We have no service. Yeah, there's nothing. I don't even know what it's scanning through. It's just scanning through static. What do you mean by kill? The EMF meter just lit up. The EMF okay. meter. Well. There's something here with us. Oh my god, yeah. 100%. Please, Please tell us your else. name. What is your name? Hey. Michael? I just heard something. All right, we're trying the SB11. Not sure if we'll get anything with it, but let's try. Is there anyone here with us? <laughs> what was that? What is it? Speak now. Or forever hold your peace. I always want to see that. <laughs> Whoa! What did it say? Professional? Yeah. Alright guys, I think we're gonna head back to the hotel room. I it literally sounded like a rock. Like something threw a rock at us. I lit I thought I saw someone run back there, but I don't know. Dude, Chris sees some holy shit. Someone's like literally throwing rocks at what the f are you kidding me? Dude, we need to get out of here, Chris. No, someone's literally throwing shit. Who is here? Are you kidding me? Who is here with us? Oh my god, I literally just fell in the hole. <laughs> oh it's scary. What is here with us? What the f Okay, I'm done. I'm done. We're done. Holy shit. Like, are you kidding me? Dude, what the hell? Is there somebody there? Like, who just did that? I'm done. We need to get back in the room. Like, I'm freaking out. Dude, I'm gonna just freak. Holy shit, we have to sleep here. Guys, we literally just got back in the room and we took the bear. And we were we were literally like just talking about the bear, and then the EMF meter just went off. We know you're here with us. You showed us. What was that? We just heard like a knock. We keep hearing banging, but we've been hearing this like all day now since we've been here. But it's like 3 a.m. Like who's up right now? I don't think anybody's up. There's also not a lot of people here. It was being really responsive, whoever that was. Holy shit. Okay, who's here with us? Can you blink if you are an evil spirit? <gasps> are you kidding me? Why would you ask Dude, that, Dude, I don't know. Are you going to harm us? Okay, so no. Are we safe in this room? Okay, so nothing. <gasps> oh my god, as soon as we said that. I feel like I just like jinxed myself. Wait, so we're not safe in this room? <gasps> are you kidding me? Oh my God, are you the spirit that messes with people? Or are you gonna mess with us tonight? <gasps> that looked like a maybe. I know, it was like kind of a It was like kind of like maybe. Should we be scared? Oh, 
Yeah, we're, we're gonna keep it right there. Leave it, there for the entire night. it like goes flying. It like smacks us in no, the face. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, it really would. We're gonna go to bed. <laughs> I really hope that we get a peaceful night of sleep. So let's, oh, let's hop in bed, Chris. Good night, y'all. Here we go. All right, guys, it is the next morning. We survived the night. Woo! Yeah. Well, I mean, somewhat. So Chris felt something. What did it do? Uh, I felt like something touching my knee. Oh, yeah, something touched her knee. And then right when we were falling asleep, I felt something. Like, I felt my leg being pulled, like, really slow. And I thought maybe, like, I was having my leg, like, I don't know, spaz out or something. And then I felt like a tickle on my on my heel, and then I, I like flinched. I was like, Chris, I felt something tickle my heel. The rest of the night, I, I slept pretty good. Um, I don't think anything really moved besides the bear. So I woke up today and I asked Chris. I was like, Did you move the bear? She she claimed she didn't. You didn't move it, right? No, we got up the same time. Yeah, we got up at the same time. And look at the bear. Like, I don't know how it would get like that. Maybe it fell over, but I don't know. It it was like sitting, I thought. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's just like face down. The fact that that bear just ended up like that is, I mean, it's not surprising in this room. But yeah, I'm glad we survived. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to Chris Star as well as myself. Turn those notification bells on so that you guys know when we post. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.